Jesse Mills here with Backwater Fly Fishing. We just got done with our film session with Peter Uced from Water's Edge Media in Guadalupe. And now I'm gonna cover some of the gear that I used while we were on the trip. This pack right here is the Westwater Roll Top by Fish Pond. And I got to use this bag for about a month prior to going to Guadalupe here in Costa Rica. And I gotta say, it's fantastic. I took it down some jungle rivers, completely soaked this thing. Uh, had some camera gear, some other valuables in there and everything came out alive, so that's good. Uh, while in Guadalupe, can't say anything bad about it. Um, there are a few other concerns that I have with it that we'll discuss, but overall, it's a really great pack. The first thing you'll notice about this bag is the roll top design, hence the name. Um, really good design, guys. Instead of doing a zipper up top, which would wear out, or even a drawstring with a flap, uh, the best way to seal this off is actually with a roll top style. It just rolls right down and then buckles in on each side. And you can pull it tight, just like that. The other thing you'll notice is this exterior pocket. This is a great place to store fly boxes. Um, I store some gloves, uh, a buff in there, anything that you want quick access to that you don't want to dig through the actual pack for. Um, and again, waterproof zipper, uh, rain, everything is going to be just fine. And the other thing you'll notice on the exterior of this are the rod tube holders and you got one on each side. While hiking down in the jungles here, I did tie just my rod straight to the side of this, um, actually in two pieces, and it did great. Um, no worries there. Now my main concern with this bag when I first got it was whether or not there was gonna be enough support on the back to protect my back from feeling the larger, more bulky items that were inside, like camera gear or lenses, things like that. Um, but I got to tell you, it did a great job. I wore this pack for five or six hours a day in Guadalupe, and it did a great job. Very comfortable. Uh, my back, I was wearing a shirt kind of like this, synthetic shirt, which I'd recommend always if you're wearing a backpack, just to allow my back to breathe more and some of the, the vapors to evaporate. It did a pretty good job. Um, you have padded uh, shoulder straps as well as your hip pads on here uh, that do a pretty nice job of kind of minimizing any type of rub. Fully adjustable hip strap, fully adjustable shoulder straps too. And on the shoulder straps, you're gonna have a few little accessories and you're even gonna have a little sternum strap there if you wanna wear it. Um, I don't personally wear the sternum straps most often, but sometimes they come in handy in order to pull some of the pressure or alleviate some of the tension off the shoulders. So it's there if you need it. The other cool thing about this bag is since you're throwing all your items down in the center, a lot of things are gonna be sort of hard to find or hard to dig out. But there is a little zipper pack down here where you could store items that you really don't wanna dig for. Um, things that you need, just bam, you got them. And you don't have to worry about that, so that's really good. The dimensions on this bag are 17 and a half by 10 by 12 and a half inches. And that's gonna give you about 35 liters of volume. So if you're looking for something to do an extended stay trip in, you're gonna want something maybe in the 50 liter range, which would put this one uh, out of the picture. Also, you don't wanna be carrying that heavy of items in here since you don't have uh, a whole lot of padding for your back. You're really not gonna to wanna to weigh this thing down. It's just not gonna carry right. However, guys, if you're in the market for a bag to bring on the kayak or just go out in the rain with uh, in order to keep all your stuff dry, this is definitely something you're gonna to wanna to look at. Just keep in mind it is in the day pack category uh, for all you adventure seekers that want to stay out forever. This isn't going to be the bag for you. If you've used this bag before and you have any other comments to leave, go ahead and leave them in the comments section of this video. Uh, if you want to see other reviews that I've done from some gear that I've used personally for a long time, go ahead and look on the info section of this video. You'll see the links there. If you don't already follow me on social media, go ahead and check me out at Backwater Fly Fishing on Facebook and Instagram. If you're looking to pick up one of these bags, go to fishpondusa.com and check them out. I hope you enjoy the review, guys. Thanks for watching.